Hello guys, uh, it's a quick tutorial on how to add the Panini projection to your uh, game. So it's a great way out uh, to deal with a high force, a first person uh, shooter. Or to make some sort of distortion of fisheye lens uh, post process. Um, I thought of uh, making more uh, camera tricks uh, while I was developing the Dolly Zoom and uh, came up with uh, this one. Uh, I've uh, started looking for information and uh, uh, saw it on the Epix website. So just uh, the way how to execute it correctly. So if you don't use the mini projection with high values of pop, we can see that we have distortion everywhere from the sensor. To make it work better, we need to activate the Panini projection. So it looks like this. Uh, we need to execute some comments. It's upscale Panini D and upscale Panini S. Higher values uh, of Panini D goes with more uh, fisheye uh, lens distortion. So if it's zero, it looks like this. If it's like 20, it looks like this. Also, you can see that we have a sort of uh, blurriness in the center. Uh, so to adjust it, to make it much better, you need to increase the screen percentage of uh, your whole viewport. But it uh, costs performance, so you need to make a good trade-off using both attributes and your fall uh, to make it... Uh, less performance cost and uh, yeah, be better than without any projection, uh, any, any projection at all. So, um, also there is Panini S uh, attribute. Uh, it's actually uh, trying to fix out the distortion on the edges of the fish eye. Higher values uh, go with something like this. And uh, negative values will uh, lead to sort of uh, black artifact. So you need to adjust it uh, just uh, the correct way. So there is no artifact at all. So I recommend to go with something uh, like between uh, zero and uh, maybe 0 0.5 <sighs> What else? Oh, one more thing uh, If you So as you can see I have it uh, on the event begin play on my third person character and I also do have uh, like a rollback or backout uh, comments which uh, restores the default values. That's because if you don't use this comment, I'll demonstrate it to you. Due to this is executed in the editor and this is the console comment. Now you can see that the viewport is distorted. So, to make it work back with the editor, you need to restore the default values on the end plane. So now, you can see everything goes back. Uh, well then, uh, I hope you like this quick tutorial. It's not actual tutorial, but uh, it's a quick tip for those who were looking for the solution to use higher for. Uh, so, yep, uh, please subscribe. Patreon, Discord, everything is uh, under the description of this video. And see you soon.